Hey there, this is Susie, otherwise known as Susie Q Scraps, and I am so excited today to be sharing with you one of my favorite ways for recoloring embellishments. Say for example, you have decided you want to scrapbook about a graduation, and so you're using Achievement in the Bundle. The add-on comes with a few colored elements, and then you also have a Life Express, the collection, so you can pull even more color, color into your layout. However, you'll notice there is not a lot of red in this collection and there is not a lot of red in the add-on. But what if your graduate school color is red? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a frame from a Life Express Colorfully, pull it into our program. I'm using Photoshop Elements 9 for this tutorial. It will also work in earlier versions of Photoshop Elements. If you're using Photoshop CS, I would suggest watching the similar tutorial that I have. Um, the tool has a couple more settings in the full version of Photoshop and so you'll want to watch that video and not this one but if you're watching if you use Photoshop elements this is the video you want so the first thing we're gonna do is we want to rename this file so we don't want to color over the purple frame that we're gonna want later for another layout so I'm just gonna save it with the name red at the end of it and click OK now it's still showing the purple frame and not the one that I resave. So I'm just going to go find that, pull it in, and make sure that I'm not working on my original file. And what I want to do is take this purple frame and turn it red. The reason I chose the purple frame is because the value of the purple is the same value as the red. So it should recolor really, really simply. So let's start with that and then I'll show you a little bit more tricky but still easy way to recolor a frame that's not the same value. So the tool we want to use is called the color replacement tool and it is stacked with your brushes. So just grab it. You can either um, hit B on your keyboard for the shortcut for the brushes and then hold shift and hit B a couple more times to scroll through to find the right one or you can just come over and click on it. You'll notice your settings up here changed. Your first option is the size of the brush. Now you want a diameter that's going to be wider than the frame just makes it easier to recolor and faster. And the mode, the default color, and that's the mode that you want. Limiter, it's set at contiguous. Let's go ahead and do discontiguous. I'll show you the difference between those here in a minute. And then the tolerance, we want it to go all the way up to 100%. So any shade of purple in this frame will get turned to a similar shade of red that we've picked. And we want anti alias. So right now we're telling our program that we want anything that's gray to get turned to red. So what we want to do is click on that background chip and use the eyedropper to select purple. And now we're telling our program we want anything purple in the background to get turned to red. And then you simply brush over it. Now if this were set to contiguous, if you brushed off just a little bit and your crosshair wasn't hitting directly on the frame, it's not going to brush and change that color. But if you change that to discontinuous, it doesn't matter which part of that circle is hitting the frame, it's going to end up purple. You don't have to get it dead on with those crosshairs. So that's why I like discontinuous. And there you go. Now we have a red frame that matches the red in our foreground. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Control S to save that. Okay. Now, let's say, for example, you really wanted the square frame, and it's orange. So, again, we're going to rename the file so we don't overwrite the original. I'm going to go pull the one I just renamed. Okay, so if we were to tell our program that we want anything orange, by changing the background color to orange, to become red in our foreground, and started brushing, you're going to see that it's becoming pink because this shade of pink is the same value of this orange. What we really want is red. So first thing we're going to do is control Z to undo that and then we're going to desaturate this orange to gray. So I hit control U and that brings up my hue saturation window and I'm just going to slide the saturation all the way to the left and then hit OK. Then we're going to open our levels window by hitting control L and we're going to make that frame darker. See the gray? That's why we ended up with pink 
instead of red. So if we make it darker, we should end up with a shade of red. So just kind of eyeball it where you think it might be and hit OK. Now we change the background color to gray and we brush over it. Now if your red's not quite as dark as you want or is slightly too dark, that's okay. We can adjust that. Go ahead and brush over the whole frame and then hit Control L and adjust the levels. And this way is a fairly accurate way to end up with a red that's the color you want. You can brush over it one more time if you want just to make sure that it's the red that you wanted and then you can save it. And you now have two red frames to go on your layout. And that is how I recolor my elements. So good luck and have some fun playing with this tutorial.